everybody, I'm Oski Light, thanks for stopping by. Um, I said I had a few videos to get out, I'm going to get started on them. Now, um, unless you've been hiding under a rock, unless you're not particularly, or you just stumbled across this video, this year, 2018, is master number 11. So there's a lot of things that are going to go on in this year for us. Um, master number 11 is the teacher it's the teaching number, it's the master number, it's the Jesus number, um, it is the number of illumination. So this year there's going to be quite a few people waking up, waking up big style. This energy is going to come through and it's going to start to touch everybody in one way or the other and it's going to pe make people more aware of what's going on them around them and hopefully it's going to start to get people spiritually awakening, awakening as well uh, to the powers that be not just to governmental and health issues and everything else that's going on in the world also on a global scale on the positive side of things there's going to be a lot of innovations a lot new of new inventions there are going to be so many things that are brought to light this year that really need to be brought to light. The darkness is being blasted out of the way by light. This is what's going to be happening and you are going to learn things, you are going to see things, you are going to, if you've been waiting for things to come to light, <clears throat> excuse me, then this is definitely the year that it's going to happen, especially on a global scale, on all those dark little things under rocks that have been kept a secret for so so long a lot of that is going to come to light so that's some of the really good stuff that we can look at forward to this year we can look forward to new innovations in health in medicine in technology in energy we can look forward to all of those things this year on a personal basis hopefully <laughs> the light is not going to shine too brightly on you uh, for those of us that do the work and meditate and have gone through a lot of spiritual lessons already, this is just further illumination. Um, depending on your personal year as well, because you all have a personal year, um, I will go through those in a minute. That's going to have an influence as well um, to you personally. But on a on a one-to-one -one scale, again, you could be finding out secrets about your family, friends, things coming to light the truth being shone onto things that you never knew um, about people around you, about you thought you knew that something was one way. Well, this year you're going to find out it's another way. You're going to find out it's something different. The truth cannot be hidden at all. Things will be found this year. You will find things that have been lost before. Also look out for the seven year cycle as well. So look back to 2011 and what was going on in 2011. Uh, what issues were coming up, what was happening then. If you didn't learn a lesson from 2011, then that could very well come back up this year. This is because it's a teacher number as well, the master number. The universe, the energy wants us all to become masters of our own lives, masters of ourselves. And in order to do that, we need to learn. And in order to learn, <clears throat> sometimes we have lessons that will come up that maybe we don't want to learn, but we will do that and we will figure them out and get through them. So this year is very much lessons coming up, things coming up for the truth on a global scale as well and on a personal scale it's about acceptance it is about unification it's number 11 it's a twin flame number for those of us that are twin flames <clears throat> out there it's a number two as a lower vibration or number but again number two or number 11 is unification coming together so coming together with different cultures coming together with other people coming into union uh, maybe Twin Flames this year will be coming into union more and more and hopefully our Twin Flames will be awakening and having illuminating um, experiences this year as well for them. Now on a personal note, on your personal number, uh, this is done by if you get the month you were born and the date you were born 
add them both together, bring them down to a single digit and then take this year, which is year 11, 2018, add 11 to the single digit, bring it back down to a single digit again and you will find out what your personal number is for this year. So for instance, I was born on the 15th of October. So if I add up 15 plus the 10, the 15 is a six, the 10 is a one, that comes to seven. Seven plus 11 is um, 18. Eight plus one is nine. So my personal year this year is a year nine, which is all about endings and things coming to an end finishing one cycle and starting another cycle. Um, so I'm going to go into the personal years. Look out for your, um, I don't know if I'm they're long enough to put. I might just actually go through them literally. Each, each personal year is just a little bit of what's going on for you this year. So just bear with it as I go through um, each personal number and I'll tell you what's going on personally for you in the year but we know what's going on on a global scale and don't follow the news too too much be aware of it observe it there is going to be a lot coming to light where unfortunately we're going to find a lot of horrible things coming up as well this year within the news arrests happening which is actually really really good but <laughs> arrests happening things that we didn't know about uh, the dark and shady stuff um there's going to be a torch shone on them they're going to be like bugs sort of flying from the dark corners as they flee from the light that's all going to come out this year so don't get too emotionally involved in the news observe it be happy for the good stuff that's coming out be happy for the innovations the inventions the new technology that we will see um but the the bad stuff that we have to see the bad stuff it has to be brought to light in order to be dealt with it's time for it to be dealt with and a lot of that is going to be happening this year uh, so just observe it try not to get too emotionally tied into it and also because it is a master number year 11 and we are going to be learning lessons this year we might find that we are more emotional than usual things are going to touch us more things are going to touch our heart more and I've pulled a card as well as a universal sort of global energy of 11 <laughs> and it's the two of cups so again it's coming together it's joining heart centers it is realizing that we are completely all one no matter what color we are what creed we are what religion we are what political uh, status we you know people are whatever whatever age you are we are all one we're all one universal consciousness here we have our own personal paths to go down but this year is really about joining together with others coming together in unification um teaching each other learning from each other loving each other feeling that unconditional love for each other being able to accept each other's, um, you know, what what you might see in yourself as a failing is not a failing. It's just something more that you need to learn as you go along. And it's being able to accept that in other people as well as in yourself. This is a great healing year. There's a lot of healing going on, a lot of things that are going to be brought up to be healed um, as the light is shining on them. So I'm actually... Um, I'm a little bit trep <laughs> I've got a little bit of trepidation about this year uh, because in another video I'm going to go on that we're also going into year of the dog as well uh, the Chinese New Year which is February that is year of the dog and I'm a dog <laughs> so you will learn in that video that if you are a dog whatever animal you are in Chinese astrology if it happens to fall into your year you've got a lot of lessons to learn so I'm very much hoping that the last few years of awakening, it's not going to be quite as harsh on me as maybe it has done in the past. But this is about unification. This is about going into your heart center, sharing your love with others, accepting others for who they are, not looking at others in judgment um, and forgiveness. There's going to be a lot. We're going to have to have a lot of forgiveness, I think, or try and have forgiveness for a lot of people this year and a lot of forgiveness for ourselves as well as all of 
everything comes starts to come to light and secrets come out on a global and in your personal life as well so right let's um go through each number um and see where we're up to with that so in the year of 2018 if you happen to be a personal year one then you are into new beginnings you've just completed a nine-year cycle and you're into the start of a new cycle into um a new uh, a year one so this is all about rebirth new beginnings um stepping into new growth so you're going to feel like you want to change your job this year you might get get into a new relationship there this year you might move house this year uh, start traveling this year learn something new this year have a new way of looking at your health everything is 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 a new beginning for you you're going to set out new goals you've got new visions for this new cycle that's coming around for you it's about setting solid foundations for the next nine years for you this year it's about taking action it's about physically planting the seeds that you need in order to to grow over the next nine years now if you are a personal year two um this is about having patience making decisions about things all about relationships this year and as it's a year 11 uh there's going to be a lot about relationships it's about making choices about who you spend your time with who you are with who you are in a relationship with um a year two can a year one is quite exciting a year two can sometimes be a little bit frustrating as it can appear from the outside to be fraught with delays and obstacles and a lot of delays a lot of waiting which is why you will need patience this year you planted the seed in year one in your personal year one last year this year you're really getting into that position where you want to get things started you want to make um solid changes with yourself um you might have to adjust certain things within your goals this year you will be meeting a lot of new people this year as well who will help you achieve whatever your goals are in this in this year too in this year 11 that's 11 11 for you actually huge huge year for you um you are going to be meeting up with like-minded souls this is a year of choice and the 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 possibilities that you've got for this year are only going to be limited by your imagination or lack of imagination now if you are in a personal year three this is about fun this is about celebrating this is about getting out there um this is about coming together with other people this is traveling this is whatever you did in your personal year two is going to start to pay off this year you're going to start to see the results of that this year you're going to see where you went wrong and where you made the right choices and it's all going to start to come together so if you started a new business you're going to start to reap the rewards of that with it being a three this year if you are in a relationship um and you started a relationship you're going to start to see that the things coming through for that it's it's um it's almost a yes year for you and it's a very powerful year as well uh be careful of burning the candle at both ends this year for you uh there's going to be an awful lot going on for you there's going to be a lot of laughter there's going to be a lot of fun there's going to be um a lot of hard work as well but you're seeing the rewards it's celebrations for you you might see a lot of people in your family getting married this year it could be you um celebrations and birthdays around you um it's just like everything you touch is going to turn to gold this year if you are in a personal year three if you're in a personal year four this year you unfortunately have got some hard work to do uh there's karma coming around for you and you've got responsibilities um this is a year of grace this is um it, it, it's either going to be a year of grace and ease or it's going to be the year from hell for you unfortunately um this is about making good on all the commitments that you have uh put into practice in your personal year three this is walking your walk and talking your talk um and actually doing it taking responsibility for the decisions that you've made in the past in the year before and the year before that 
and I'm doing it and getting on with it and growing from that. Uh, looking at the patterns in your life, looking at um, maybe belief systems and seeing if they need to change, looking at the opinions of others. Um, it's 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 your grow up. It's your big girl pants year. It's your growing up year. This year, it's really getting getting on with it. If something isn't working for you, if something is not happening for you, it's time to break those cycles. This year, um, it's rolling up your sleeves and getting on with it. <laughs> so, if you're in a personal year five, um, in 2018, it's about freedom. It's about travel. It's adventure adventure you feel like you want to run to the ends of the earth this year after all the hard work that you did in your personal year four which we've just gone through you will find that um everything all the hard work you put into that year all the times you rolled up your sleeves and you got on with it got rid of the things that weren't serving you it's paid off so this year is actually you have got more choices in front of you you've got more free time in front of you you've got this feeling of I wanted an adventure I want to go out I want to do something I want to do different things I I, I want to go traveling um, I want to make new friends I want to seek a new relationship I want all sorts of different it's about you will want to get out of the routine of the personal year four if you're a personal year five this year you will want to get out of the routine freedom that's what you're looking for this year now if you are in a personal year six everything's coming back home to the heart to the family you've done all your adventuring in the year before this is all about um realizing that really there's no place like home this time home is where the heart is this is about blossoming at home about developing at home with relationships with uh, people around you with family dealing with family problems dealing with ending a relationship that's not going anywhere because you realize that the people that you want close to you you want them on your side so this year you could actually see some of the things that are not serving you and you'll start to weed them out a little bit this year as well you will feel guided or you may feel guided this year to spend more time with family and friends to be with them, spend time with them, talk to them, nurture them, nurture your relationships. Um, and you may also be wanting to start a business from home this year if you are in a personal year six. Um, it's You could be starting a family, having a baby, getting married. It's nesting, it's being of service to others as well comes into this. So it's all about heart, family, home, um, and and being with the people that you love in a personal year six if you are in a personal year seven this is about self-awareness this is about improvement this is about your soul having um a physical experience and really wanting that physical experience you could have a lot more spiritual experiences paranormal experiences in a year seven um you are wanting to expand yourself. You are wanting to know why you are really here, what your lessons are, what your mission is here on earth, how you make a difference um, to people around you, to other people's lives. It's a big year. It's facing a lot of truths this year in a year seven. It's going within. It's seeking those answers. You will be doing a lot more meditating. It's, um, again, uh, coupled up with with 2018 and a year 11 there's a lot of illumination here but finding those answers from within for you you can manifest your dreams this year you can be of a strong connection with your guides and angels this year as well you will want to spend more time by yourself this year you will um maybe want to do a home learning course or something like that um but this definitely is a year of going in with within yourself this year. If you are in a personal year eight, this is about everything being magnified. There is a lot of success in year eight. Now, uh, year eight is not the year to start something new. 
year eight is about seeing how successful you are in things that you have started before your year eight came in it's seeing things come in from that but it's where you focus your attention is what is going to come to you this year um so if you're going to focus on your health then your health will improve if you focus on success there will be more success um a lot of people will be attracted to you this year you will be offering um help and information out to other people they will want those lessons from you for this year you will be a lot more attractive to other people this year it's about abundance there will be abundance if you focus positively on abundance this year if you are a personal year out eight that is going to come into you you are also going to become a lot more aware that as above so below as within so without uh what you think manifests what you think becomes your thoughts become reality and you'll become a lot more aware of this this year as well um you've got the real potential here to have real success in whatever you focus on this year <clears throat> if you are in a year nine a personal year nine for this year you have come to completion you've come to the end of a particular cycle okay it's a really good opportunity for you to reflect on the last nine years that you've just gone through what's happened what did you learn how much did you grow how much do you understand others the world global yourself spiritual matters um and it's great in a year nine to be able to get to that point where you can share your wisdom and experience with others and become the teacher with that other people will want to to know from you what it's like what you've been through what you've learned um this can also be a year of watching your health do watch your health if you are a personal year nine um you may find that it's not quite as good as it usually is in other years and it's about rest and recuperation it's about taking things easy in a year nine because obviously the following year you're going to be in the year one you're going to be starting the whole system off again the whole cycle so this is um tying up loose ends making sure that everything is set this year for your new starts the next year okay so it's tying up the last nine years are you happy with where you are are you happy with what you've done those things that you're not happy with is it time to get rid of them it's about practicing forgiveness as well towards yourself and other people it's about understanding it's about having aha moments it's about peace it's about peace. You will find that things go a lot slower this year for you as you sort of wind things up and wind down, letting go of what no longer serves you, becoming at peace with yourself and coming to the end of that cycle. So I hope this helps you. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of things to look forward to this year. We've got a lot of... Um, aspirations to meet dreams to have um illuminations to have it's going to be a lot of fun for some of us it's going to be hard work depending on what you couple up year 11 this year with your personal year and now that will give you an idea of what sort of year you're going to have um and as i say i'm going to bring another video out on the chinese new year and what's in store there as well and you put all these energies together um, and that's your personal path for the year. So, hope this helps. Namaste. Um, I will speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.